Not sure if you guys could really tell by those drone shots, but basically Salt Lake City has had the worst air quality in the world for the last like three days. Smoke from the California wildfires moved across all of Salt Lake and the Wasatch Front and Wasatch Back, and it's just created this insanely thick smog that I've never seen before out here. So that's kind of what Utah has been dealing with, but welcome back to another episode of season two. I have so much I feel like I need to say, I want to say, but ultimately I just miss creating, I miss vlogging. I've never felt so uninspired in my life. I've never felt so burnt out. I've never felt just so like fucked up basically, for lack of a better word, just in terms of my confidence, in terms of my work, like everything. I'm out here in the Uintas just to relax, take photos, make just do the stuff that I love doing and sharing it with you guys. and more or less just doing it for myself. Don't have too much planned for tonight other than just relax, cook some good food, and have a good night. The main road that runs through the Uintas is called the Mirror Lake Scenic Byway. Never actually really went to Mirror Lake because every time I come here, it's super crowded. So I feel like not a lot of people are out in the Uintas just because of the air quality and it is advised to stay inside, but I guess we're not doing what is advised. But this is Mirror Lake. It's called Mirror Lake because of how glassy it gets and just kind of obviously creates one big mirror, reflects the surrounding mountain peaks, things like that. It's not really the case tonight, but it is uh, still very beautiful. And the first time in my photo and video career of about five years of really pursuing this craft, I have just felt totally uninspired. Interestingly, I have two episodes of the vlog of season two that I shot completely from start, well, fish just like jumped out of the water, from start to finish. Intro, all the story in between and then the outro. I did that with two different occasions, two different episodes, and I never even post them because I just sabotaged myself in saying that these suck, no one's gonna watch them, um, and they don't go anywhere. The first word that I've just been struggling with is just inspiration. I just have not felt inspired at all. word or phrase that it was really just coming to my mind is just burnt out. And I think this is, you know, pretty self-explanatory and something that I feel like everyone goes through no matter if you're in a creative industry or or not. I feel like I kept trying to fight it and telling myself I wasn't burnt out or just push through it, push through it. And I think that does work. It just felt like no matter what I did, I just couldn't really muster up the inspiration or the energy to like really push through with something. I've really just been trying to like go with it, not necessarily fight it and just figure out what it is that I do feel inspired to do and what it is that I wanna do. Just trying different things to see if I can kind of reignite that spark of wanting to create stuff. And that's kind of why I'm out here today. Like I feel like I really have that back and I'm like excited to be out here and film and vlog and I feel a lot better than I did before. And really the last term to describe the way I've been feeling it's just fucked up. Like there's no other way to describe it. Largely just a lack of confidence and just not feeling like I'm really doing anything that's meaningful. That's why I'm trying to just come back to the basics of just not overthinking things and just creating because it's fun. The shooting, the filming, the sharing it on social media, that's all supposed to be fun. And for some reason that element got lost. I feel like I've been living for other people, other people's opinions, not wanting to get judged by other people, being scared to actually express who I am and be myself. So we're all a work in progress and I'm sure there's other people who feel the same way. Hopefully this will connect with at least one of you guys. So anyways, that's kind of enough of that. I feel like the smoke has actually gotten a lot better and you can now actually see the mountains, which is really cool. I was walking back to the van and 
I just had to stop, switch lenses because this is exactly why they call it Mirror Lake. And it's just, you hear those birds? It's just beautiful. Mountains on fire, huge reflection. Um, yeah, just one of those beautiful nights. Say you wanna fix our problems. How long should I be waiting? Feels like I've had to. All right, well, that was absolutely well worth it. Um, I even stayed later than I thought I was going to. And now we have to find a campsite basically in the dark, which is always pretty tough. But uh, we can do it. I currently went to this campsite called Moosehorn, just up the street. I don't know if it's like first come, first serve or what the deal is. So I'm just trying to drive around seeing if there's any open sites. I'm not sure if I really wanna pay for one, but I figured it might just be easy for tonight. So far it looks pretty packed and I saw that it was like 24 bucks for a site, which is kind of expensive seeing as there's free sites all around this area. The Moosehorn site was not a success, so we will carry on. This has gotten to be an enjoyable thing for me is trying to find campsites, kind of like a little game. So let's see if there's anything else. Butterfly Lake campground now. It's getting quite dark. Kind of running out of options here, but we're gonna stay optimistic. Looks like that van just got a spot, so maybe there's another spot available, I don't know. I think I may have found an open site. I mean, there's just no one here, so does that mean I can take it? It's not marked, so. I'm really pleased with how this campsite worked out it's actually a really level site which is always like that's like the biggest challenge with finding a site on one of those roads i went down there was a site but like you're so unlevel when you sleep that it's just it's not really worth it so the fact that i found this one pretty quickly on a level ground is dope but i'm starving um and on the menu tonight is turkey burgers This is our dinner tonight. Two turkey burgers with some smoked cheddar cheese on that. These buns are like toasted just to perfection. I have like a buffalo ranch salad that I clearly couldn't wait to eat. So that's already half gone. And this should be pretty good. Very minimal mess. Really just one pan, a cutting board, and a few plates, which is always really nice in the van, especially when it's late. Well, for some reason, I have a bad habit of falling asleep on the bed after dinner before actually getting into bed. So I'm gonna hit the hay for the night. Looks like the stars are out um, and I'll see you guys in the morning. squad I had a kind of a later start than I had wanted um, but I made out here to Moosehorn Lake look at the light on the mountain back there it's actually not as cold as I thought it was gonna get down to and it's just a beautiful morning so look at this reflection that's in the water that's the mountain water mountain beautiful That's always a beautiful way to start the morning. Who've been 
been following along for like the last year or so. We built this van and then basically kind of went right into winter and then we were skiing a lot and then just, I haven't really had a chance to address some of the things almost like a year later, which is crazy um, from when it was built. So I wanna try to start to fix some of these things before like the winter comes again, which is just crazy to think about. I'm not ready for winter, believe it or not. First thing I really wanna just redo are these cabinet doors. When we built these, we were kind of running out of time and I essentially ran out of plywood even. So like these doors are barely like big enough to to really cover the the cabinets and like the spacing isn't exactly perfect. I don't think it will get perfect, but anyways, I wanna redo the cabinet doors just cause I think we can do them a little bit better than what they are now. In each cabinet here, you can see right to the back where the insulation is, where we even ran some wires, the wall studs. So I wanna add a quarter inch piece of plywood and cover that so it just looks a little bit neater on all of the cabinets. And I can just mount it right to these straps here but that'll just kind of clean up the inside of the cabinets and really make it look just a little bit more professional another thing i want to get done that's probably gonna be one of the more difficult things is this sort of trim piece here you can see um, again the insulation stuffed in there and it's just kind of like this eyesore of like an opening i ran some wires in here for my battery stuff but i want to try to cover this somehow just to, so you don't see that and then also like kind of up here on the crown you can see we put this crown molding up here and then it kind of stops. But this is like a really curved piece. It has all like these, almost like these hex nuts in here. And we have some wires up here. So it's kind of an interesting place, um, but I'd like to try to carry on this crown molding here. But again, that's gonna be a little bit difficult as well. I need to re-silicone here where the tile meets the butcher block. The silicone is just basically cracked just from moving around and being in a van. It's not cracked down there, but in there, I just need to kind of redo it wouldn't be bad. And then probably the thing that annoys me the most with the van, you guys see that, is this rubbing area on the battery box. It's clearly hitting on the door when the door is closed and then just driving around. It is rubbing and just completely destroying the paint. So my plan is to, to kind of figure out where exactly it's rubbing, maybe put some sort of felt or something to kind of cover that. And then essentially I just need to repaint this piece. Luna has been absolutely incredible. And like, I'm just feeling super grateful this morning for luna and just like everything that we did to her and like sometimes i'll just come in here and stare because it's like i just can't believe we put this together and stuff works the way it does like a year later with some pretty rigged rugged use so with a lot of diesel vehicles nowadays i think since like maybe 2011 or 2009 there's something called diesel exhaust fluid or DEF for short it's in all the 18 wheelers it's in a lot of the sprinter vans anything that's really a diesel um it has this DEF fluid and it's basically an emissions control thing just to make sure we try to be as clean as we can it's always nice to keep it topped off in these sprinter vans i've read mixed things on the internet i've read every 500 miles every thousand miles and if you get air into the tank it can kind of rust and just lead to some other problems so i try to just keep this topped off i don't remember the last time i did it it's probably only about 500 to a thousand miles ago but i figured it might be nicest to give it another little touch up here this stuff is really nasty though it's super corrosive so you want to make sure you don't spill it don't get it on your hands don't put this in your fuel tank or anywhere else other than the spot that says def i'm not a pro at this oh we're spilling it's just leaking around the cap which kind of sucks but let's give this a go oh Okay, overflowed it just a bit, but that means we're full. But you wanna wipe this stuff off right away. I'm telling you, it's corrosive, it's nasty. And that's it. That's how to make some breakfast. My final stop for this weekend is one of the many roadside lakes here in the Uintas. This one is called Teapot Lake. I've never been here before and it just ended up being a really nice day. Smoke cleared up and it's just beautiful. So I'm honestly just walking around the lake, looking at different vantage points and just honestly looking at the trout in the water. It's uh, super beautiful. Well 
guys, I think unfortunately I have to end the vlog here, but I do think it's a good spot to end it. I brought like my whole bag of batteries. I didn't realize that every single one of them is like blinking. So I kind of running out of battery. The only battery I have is back in the van. I'm grateful to live in Utah. I'm grateful for being able to enjoy places like this, just like an hour from my house. I'd love to hear what you guys are up to. How's your summer going? And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.